When's the last time you rented a movie? I know, we just threw you on set. I'm sorry. <laughs> last time I rented a movie? Uh, well, actually, it was uh, just the other day. We you did? did? Yeah, we rented Shrek 2 and 3. You Like the physical copy? Oh, the physical copy. Yeah. No, like uh, on a Like online. Screen. Yeah, online. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't I, I, think, I think it's been like a couple of years. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I did that. Okay, doesn't does, that doesn't count. When our morning buzz, we're talking about <laughs> physical copy movie rentals, okay? Almost a thing of the past, right? Well, now... Take a look at this, what one woman is dealing with. Her life on hold right now. She is living in Texas. It's Karen crazy. McBride says she found out she was charged with felony embezzlement for not returning a VHS tape two decades ago, back when she used to live in Oklahoma. Now, she found the charge while she was changing her name on her Texas driver's license. Wow. She's like, what the heck is this? I've never done anything wrong. Could this possibly be? McBride says she never rented the movie. Sabrina <laughs> yeah, the, the Teenage, Teenage Witch. Witch. Yeah. I was just thinking, what did she rent all like a couple of decades ago? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, and is it worth a felony? Was <laughs> Sabrina the Teenage Witch w worth, worth a felony right now? She says her boyfriend at the time possibly did that, used her rental card. Well, that video store, it's now closed. So she mm -hmm. says maybe that's why she's been rejected from five <laughs> jobs over the years. Wow. And that was charges, of course, been following her. Take a look. It's a serious issue. And it's caused me and my family a lot of heartache financially because of the positions that I've lost because of those two words. Yeah, I mean, it's something That's that we, we're just like, oh, and we're kind of joking about it, but just imagine this woman, she's lost jobs, she's now facing felony charges for Sabrina the Teenage Witch. McBride says she will have to go to court in Oklahoma to get that charge removed from her record. That means getting an attorney and suing the state. Joey, it's just crazy to me. Do you remember the last movie that you No, because rented? you don't realize. It's kind of like that thing. I saw this on social media one time. Do you remember the last time that you went outside to play? You don't yeah. realize it's the last time, yeah. you know? And, and, you know, I used to used to always go to the Redbox thing at, like, local gas stations and go rent out movies yeah. when we used to hang out with friends. Yeah. But now that you have all these streaming services, I don't remember the last time that I did that. I know. Yeah, it's, it's been a long Poor time. Woman, though. Yeah, it's been a, yeah I, I hope that she gets everything resolved.